Well, we're here today with uh, Duff Holmes. Duff, how are you? What's up, Dave McLean? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Max MMA in the house, of course. Been there since day one. Going to be there after us. It's all over, too. Absolutely. Well, tell us uh, what's going on here tonight. Tonight we're at a place called Piers and Blake. It's in the historic Bank Square section of Utica, New York. Uh, coincidentally, Matt and I just purchased a building across the street. We're opening a sports bar. We already moved our gym upstairs, so Milwaukee Valley MMA is up there already. We're going to be opening a sports bar downstairs called The Cage. This is going to be a great place to check out fights, you know, SU games, football games, whatever you want. Get a bite to eat, have a drink, see some cool people. And, uh, but tonight we're here for a special occasion. Tonight is a very special occasion. This is Matt's retirement party. As you can see, a lot of familiar faces in here. Here we got Clay Guida in the house, a good friend for a long time, special guest, and uh, a lot of people are behind us watching a highlight film of Matt's career. And just, you know, it's a great chance for everybody to come out and um, celebrate one of the most inspirational and amazing athletic careers of all time. Can you sum up uh, what, what the feeling is here that this retirement party? I mean, you, you and Matt have been together for quite some time, you know, shared a lot of experiences, had some great times, great moments. Um, give us your thoughts about uh, your experience with Matt. You know, it's bittersweet. You know, of course, I had aspirations of Matt wearing that belt one day because he's really good enough. And if he could have stayed healthy enough, I, I have no doubt that he would have gotten there. So, but on the other hand, what he did in the sport is that absolutely remarkable. And um, I, I'm glad he's at a point now where it's, that's going to be celebrated, you know. And he's going to go down as, like I said, one of the most inspirational guys of all time. Maybe we, anywhere we go in this country or even really in the world, people come up to him and tell him how much he means to them. And, and that's something that's really special to Matt. So we're going to continue to go on. We've got a million other fighters underneath us that are coming up. Uh, we're going to continue our charity work around here. And, and uh, we'll see Matt at every death event all, all over this country. And, of course, we have the movie coming out shortly. The movie drops November 1st. I just got word. It's going to be a big deal. It's going to go theatrical nationwide. And uh, hopefully it goes to your city. If it doesn't go to your city right in the first week, hopefully it goes in the second or third week. So it's a limited release in the beginning. And then, depending on how well it does, it goes on from there. Now, i got to ask Duff, because I've heard people whispering this this evening. Is this the last we'll see of Matt in the octagon? I can never say never, you know. Um, I got a good feeling it is probably the last we're going to see him in the octagon, but you never know. You know, a lot of things could happen in this sport. And uh, who knows where we go from here. But for right now, this is definitely the best decision. He needs time away. He needs to recover his body. And I don't know, maybe two years down the road, if he is super healthy, maybe he comes back. I don't know. But I, I really think this is probably it for him. Uh, thanks, Dave. Max MMA in New York. Been there since day one. Keep supporting him. And we're going to legalize MMA in New York soon.